Good evening and welcome to the second part of the Ross Wright Special here on tonight's edition of On the Infield where we'll check out some racing action of Ross's stellar career. So tonight please sit back and watch V8 Jet Modified Action, Stock Rod Action and of course Sprint Cars on tonight's edition of On the Infield. First of all we'll take a look at some Ross Wright Stock Rod Action from the mid 1980s at his home track of the Murray Bridge Speedway.
hope you enjoyed that uh, stock rod action from the Murraybridge Speedway. Right now we'll take a look at Ross Ride in action up in Queensland at the 1991 Australian Stock Rod Championship at the Bundaberg Speedway. Once the stock rod era finished here in South Australia, the South Australians adopted the national V8 dirt modified class, with Ross Wright being one of the pioneers of the class right here in South Australia. So please sit back and enjoy some action of Ross Wright behind the wheel of his awesome purple V8 dirt modified at the Murray Bridge Championships as well as the one lap dash for cash. So 14.509 there for Les Baker. The next driver out, the South Australian number eight of Ross Wright, the veteran of V8 Dirt Modified Championships, is Ross Wright, the father of sprint car driver Darrell Wright, the local of Ross Wright out there for Richard Steele and Murray Valley. Jets as he comes out of turn number four. We watch the clock stop at 14.32. Pro Murray Bridge South Australian V8 Dirt Modified Championship Heat number two, ten laps is the combatant journey. Phil. Yes, Jim Wright to lead them in. They're on the gas and now to turn number four and a green flag is waved and Corey Hodson a big bike down there in turn one and two and he makes a big mess of it but this allows Jim Wright to take over the race lead. Hodson slots into second. Have a look at Tim Morse on the high side of the speedway around Glen Goonan. 
Goon and a Morse race side by side into turn one. Have a look at Ross Wright, a big bicycle similar to Brad Haywood earlier in the sprint car heat. Lucky to keep it on four wheels was Ross Wright. A big moment for the veteran of the V8 Dirt Modifiers. And as you can see, it's actually damaged the bodywork, the impact as he came back down to earth. So a scary moment for Ross Wright in car number eight. But Jim Wright continues to lead in car number seven. One of the Murray Bridge residents clear out in front, but have a look at Tim Morse and Glenn Goonan now. The battle for third is on the racetrack, and that's the one we're looking at. Australia 1 versus Australia 2. Tim Morse all over the back of Glenn Goonan in the Auto Pro. Sponsored V8 Dirt Modified. Goonan gets a bit of a push in the middle of 1 and 2, and this allows Tim Morse up the inside, and Morse takes over third. Now he looks at the back of the 27 of Corey Hodson. But Tim Morse, well and truly one of the quickest track cars on the racetrack. Go back to Goonan in fourth, then we go back to Ross Wright, Les Baker and Bo Seidel at the back of the field. Jim Wright continues to lead, but have a look at Tim Morse. Now all over the back of Corey Hodson through turn number two. Tim Morse, can he now take over second to turns number three and four? Hodson closes the door, but Hodson runs a little wide out of turn four but Morse wasn't able to capitalise on the move. So Morse now still runs third, a great battle for second between Corey Hodson and Tim Morse, two of Australia's top young V8 dirt modifying drivers out of turn four. The battle continues into turn one. Morse puts the car on the bottom, drives by Hodson out of turn number two. A textbook move by Tim Morse, but with only one lap to go, he won't catch our race leader, Jim Wright. Although he will definitely try out of turn number two, half a lap remaining for Jim Wright as he goes past the pit turn into turn four. Heat number two will go to Jim Wright in car number seven. Second will go to Tim Morse. Third will go to Corey Hodson. Fourth to Glenn Goonan. Fifth across the stripe, Les Baker, Ross Wright and Bo Seidel ride it white out the field. I tell you what, uh, there's not a Early in Ross's career, Ross actually dabbled in sprint car racing, driving the Wayne Fisher Nance for quite a few seasons, but then he opted to step back into the stock rod and the V8 dirt modified class. Late in Ross's career, he actually decided to go to spring car racing one more time and deciding to compete in the 360 cubic inch class right here in South Australia. During Ross's career, he actually competed in the class quite competitively and actually finished second in the state title at Murray Bridge a couple of seasons ago. But with Ross's career coming to an end, he decided to have one final drive at the Murray Bridge Speedway and that occurred on November 25, 2006 at his beloved Murray Bridge Speedway. So please sit back and enjoy all the action of Ross's final ever competitive drive in a sprint car at the Murray Bridge Speedway, the track that he absolutely loved and it was a fitting result to have his final drive at that particular racetrack. Ross Wright, the 43 of Shane Hendry in the Australia 1 machine of Jamie Cobby in the first two rows as we go green into turn number one and two for the first time as they charge down the back straightaway. It's Owen Pitt in car number eight who leads him out of turn number four. In the Moreland Tyre Machinery, J&J, then it's the Saxon Engineering. Sign around for Rick Cobby Transport number one of Jamie Cobby in the second spot, the Ray Bartlett owned race car, but there's our leader. It's still Owen Pitt in car number eight. Then we go back to Ross Wright in car number 23 having a good run. In fact, no, I think it might be the 28th machine of Daryl Wright, his son. So Daryl Wright's now snuck up into third. Ross Wright sliding back in the pack. He started on the outside of the front row in what should be his final ever sprint car appearance here at Murray Bridge. Out of turn number four, it's still Owen Pitt, the leader. Second is Jamie Cobby in the Australian number one machine. Then it's the 28 of Daryl Wright in the fourth spot. Could be the 33 of the Karunya Park cattle feedlot. Eagle chassis of Mark Caruso, there's Daryl Wright in the third spot, driving car number 28, that black race car. But our leader is still the car number 8 of Owen Pitt. Continuing to pace this field very nicely indeed, Pitt won it. The very first ever South Australian 360 cubic inch sprint car drivers out of Athelston. Here in Adelaide, but good run so far from Owen Pitt, really showing some good form here. 
in heat number three of the 360 cubic inch sprint cars here at Murray Bridge. Of course, Murray Machinery and Sheds will bring you the feature race later on tonight and have a look at Cobby now. He really is starting to close in on our leader. As they head down the back straight away one more time, it is still Owen Pitt. Jamie Cobby looks to the inside now as they go down the front straight away. Into turn number three and four. Good racing here from the 360 cubic inch sprint cars. As once again they're down in turn number three and four. Lap traffic just in front of our leader. That's the 89 of Stephen Lovegrove. As Cobby now looks to the outside as Pitt puts Lovegrove one lap down. Oh, Jamie Hendry pulls it in, fielding car number 42. Rotten luck for the Lewiston driver in the 42 machine. But this really is a great battle up in front. White flag now on display. Cobby on the top side. Pit on the bottom and Cobby's got him on the outside. Great run there for Jamie Cobby. He's pinched the pocket of Owen Pitt here in heat number three. Check and flag waving for Jamie Cobby. Second will go to Owen Pitt. And third to the 28 of Darrell Wright. Fourth across the line, Mark Caruso. A new 12 lap track record of 227.3 to Jamie Cobby. What a heat race win. Machining and sheds 360 cubic and sprint car feature about to come your way. 25 laps up on the counter. Into turn number one and two for the first time. Have a look at the angry pack of 360s as they head down the back straight away. Into turn number three and four for the first time. And Daryl Guerin out of Broken Hill leads the pack. Have a look at Jamie Cobby on the high side. In car number one, the Australian 360 cubic and sprint car champion. Now taking over second, Chad Ely. In car number 22 back there in the third spot. There he is as he heads down the front straight away. Daryl Wright in car number 28 back there in the fourth spot. Another one of the Murray Bridge drivers in car number 63. That's Ryan Jones back there in fifth as we see the 43 of Shane Hendry making a bit of a mistake there in turn number four. He's able to keep it going but now he's under attack from our race leader. And Shane Hendry will go a go lap down very early in this feature event as they go through one and two. Once again have a look at the 28 of Darrell Wright carrying some good corner speed back there in the fourth spot. But our leader is still Daryl Guerin out of Broken Hill looking for his first ever 360 cubic inch sprint car feature event win. As he heads down the back shoot, Jamie Cobby closing in in the Saxon Engineering. Sinarama, Rick Cobby Transport, Maxim Chassis, car number one. There's the 43 of Shane Hendry. As our leader tries to put him a lap down and there it goes the car one of Jamie Cobby into the lead. So Cobby's our new race leader in the Australian number one. There he is down the front straight away. He put the lap down on the 43 of Hendry. He may have tagged the wall there coming out of turn number four. So Shane Hendry right luck there for that young driver out of Gawler. But our leader is still the one of Jamie Cobby. In fact, the 43 of Hendry has come to a halt. And as a result, the 96 of oh, Daryl Guerin gets his spot back at the front of the field. So Guerin is once again our leader. Cobby is second. Chad Ely is third in car number 22. Then it's the 28 of Daryl Wright. Good scrappy for the front four cars. Then we've got the 33 of Mark Caruso. Then car number eight of Owen Pitt. So a good battle here. The big names are at the front of this field. Just how we like it. It's Daryl Guerin who leads. The Australian champion Jamie Cobby trying everything he can to run down our leader and Chad Ely having a career best run back there in the third spot in car number 22. Almost contact there as our leaders do battle. Garen and Cobby and have a look at Chad Ely now trying to put the move on the Australian champion down the back chute. Good racing here from the 360s. Daryl Garen, there's a good shot of our leader in car number 96. The seven day spares make all crash machine out of Broken Hill. As he goes through one and three and four once again, good race here for the 360s. Daryl Guerin really pacing the field nicely here. Cobby in the second spot, Chad Ely third. Oh, we've got a car upside down. Upside down in turn number four. It's the 99 of Josh Ruse. And on the restart, where's Daryl Guerin? Guerin has got a flat right rear tyre, had to change it. Under the caution, under the red light, and he's gone to the tail of the field. In fact, he's parked it on the infield. So Daryl Guerin is out of this one. Rotten luck for Guerin. In fact, we're hearing that Ch Chad Ely, in fact, ran into the back of Daryl Guerin under that red light caution, cutting the right rear tyre. And that's the reason why Guerin's out of this one. You can see the damage to the left upright of the wing on Chad Ely's race car on the end plate.
So that's the obviously what it's obviously what happened there between Chad Ely and Daryl Guerin. There's that damage on the upright on the 22 on the top aerofoil of Chad Ely's race car. But there's our leader now, Jamie Cobby, unchallenged at the moment as he goes through turn number one and two. Looking very good on the racetrack at the moment. On contact there between Josh Roos and car number 23 of Ross Wright. And Ross Wright pulls onto the infield. What a rotten way for Ross to finish his speedway career here at Murray Bridge with a damaged race car on the infield. But what a champion he's been here at Murray Bridge, Ross Wright. As he heads down the back straightaway, our leader, of course, car number one of Jamie Cobby. But the 23 of Ross Wright will finish watching this one on the infield. And he really has been an absolute champion, as I said, here at Murray Bridge. It really has done the club and himself proud around this venue. Down the back straightaway is the 23 of, J of Mark Caruso now coming into play on the back of the 28 of Daryl Wright. Then we've got car number 8 of Owen Pitt. But our leader is still the Australian champion. Jamie Cobby second is Chad Ely in car number 22. Then we go back to the 28 of Daryl Wright, the 33 of Mark Caruso. And the eight of Owen Pitt running around about position number six. Then it's the 63, in fact, of Ryan Jones. So Pitt's in, in fact running fifth. Jones is back there in the sixth spot. Good run for that young driver. Then the 77 of Chris Evans, who won the feature event last week, supporting World Series sprint cars in Adelaide. Of course, we saw him tip over earlier, so not a great run for Chris Evans in car number 77. The all-transport crash, cool chassis, but a good run for this man in the Australian number one, Jamie Cobby. Unstoppable at the moment. Just have to wonder whether he would have run down. Daryl Guerin or not here in the feature event. He's about to put a lap down on the 42 of Jamie Hendry. He's had a terrible night in the 42. The Sandy Creek Engineering, SA Curbing, SA Earthworks Maxim. As he comes out of turn number four, puts Hendry one lap down. In fact, Hendry finished second last weekend at Adelaide in that feature event to Chris Evans. So has gone from... A good run last week to a rather disappointing one here tonight at Murray Bridge. But I'm sure he'll bounce back during the season. White flag on display now for the Australian champion in car number one, Jamie Cobby. is about to collect the Murray Machine against 360 cube against Sprint Car feature here at Murray Bridge. Second flag waving for Jamie Cobby. Second will go to Chad Ely. Third to Darrell Wright. Fourth across the line was Mark Caruso. Fifth, Owen Pitt. Sixth. In car number 63, Ryan Jones, seventh was Chris Evans, and eighth across the line in SA, six, Michael Burford. But there's our feature race winner in the Australian number one.